Hey, welcome to this Windows channel. And uh, today we are going to have a big day of installing Windows 10 on different machines. I know a lot of you have started installing Windows 10 on your computers. So it's really nice to see that uh, we are in the middle of the Windows installation. Uh, I want to uh, share this page with you guys. This is where you get the downloads for the ISO. What you do is actually you click the download tool for uh, 32 or 64 bit version. I took the 64 bit. You click media creation tool and uh, what it does is going to ask you how you want to do that um, boot device. So once you click it's going to create for you a 32 or 64 bit version of a image basically on a uh, device like a USB thumb drive which is the best way to actually install Windows 10. So this is available at the Microsoft download page here that I will be uh, installing or actually putting the link just below the uh, video in the description. So if you're looking for the link, just look at the description in the video here. So uh, I'm installing today Windows on two Windows 7 machines, one Windows 8.1 machine, and I will be upgrading my Insider Preview. These videos are coming up. I will have also later on a full review of the Windows um, 10 official release that I will be posting. So uh, keep track of all that information that is coming soon. So basically this tool will ask you um, if you want to do a DVD or a USB key. And what's interesting about this tool is that once you have done that bootable device, I'm creating a bootable USB key, it's very nice because you don't have to wait for the reservation. So if you didn't have any notif notifications, if you don't have the notifications that tells you it's ready to install, basically you can actually use this tool and just choose the upgrade path and it's going to upgrade your machine. I'm still stuck on the Windows 8.1 with, okay, notify me when it's ready. So um, basically I'm going to upgrade using this device since it doesn't want to uh, do so uh, right away. On my other Windows 7 machine though, I do have the upgrade process that wants to work. So it's very interesting. Now it can take a little bit of time for the Windows 10 uh, setup to work for making your uh, bootable USB device because I've noticed that uh, several times this software download page uh, didn't work. Uh, it seems a lot of people are actually going here and getting that tool to create the device. So uh, I'll be posting more info as we get more and I'll be upgrading today. So hope everybody is going well in their Windows 10 up upgrades. And if there are any problems, anything that goes wrong, I will be, of course, posting all the information and trying to help everyone. So uh, thank you for watching. And um, if you enjoy my videos, want to subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, anything you want to know about Windows 10, why not uh, share this with us? Thank you.